To Fenton here, welcome back to my channel, the place to be to help you find fragrances that you love. In today's video, we are going to talk about one of my favorites. It's on like almost every countdown list that I have any season. It is none other than Versace Dylan Blue Parfum. So I'd love if you would leave a comment and let me know what your scent of the day. That's how I like to start off these videos. Share what you're wearing today and also share if you have this in your collection and give us your thoughts. We'd love to know what you think about this scent and it helps others out in the chat to let us know, you know, your thoughts. Also definitely subscribe if it's your first time here. I talk fragrance, I love fragrance, I'm obsessed with it. I have quite the collection and I love to share it here with you. So subscribe, turn on those notifications so that you can be notified every time that I post here on YouTube. Lastly, when I am not here on YouTube, I'm on the gram, doing it for the gram. So share your sense of the day with me in your stories. Don't forget to tag me and I will make sure to post it in my own stories. Let the world know what you're wearing. If that's okay with you, you know, I'm just saying. Don't forget to like this video. It's super important. It helps me out the YouTube algorithm. I swear to God, sometimes people say they're seeing my videos or they're not. So, you know, it's always important to thumbs the video up. If you enjoy this type of content, it lets me know that you wanna see more of it. It also helps to spread the video out within the YouTube universe for others who wanna learn more about fragrance. So like the video. All right, so today's fragrance that is my scent of the day is Versace Dylan Blue Pois Femme. I genuinely love this fragrance. I think that it's so noteworthy and it just makes me happy and it makes me smile. This particular scent was launched in 2017. The perfumer here is Elise Becker, who has a ton of fragrances that I just am obsessed with. She's a master creator. Definitely check her works out. Let's get into the notes. So the notes here are Granny Smith Apple, Black Current, Clover, Forget Me Not, and Shiso. Middle notes here are Rose Hip, Peach, Petalia, Rose, and Jasmine. Base notes are White Woods, Muss, Striax, and Patchouli. So I know that's plenty of notes, but for me, what I mostly get when I wear this gem is a nice spray or two. Shout out to Versace for coming through with the nice sprayer. I mostly get peach, Granny Smith apple, patchouli in the base always, and jasmine and musk, of course, for sure. Like those are the prominent notes that I get when I wear this fragrance. So the first spray is super fruity. We're talking about a blast of something that smells like apples and almost has a, if I had to compare it to anything, I would say that it almost reminds Reminds me of like shampoo but like high quality shampoo like it has a very clean fresh and fruity vibe at the top the black currant mixed with the apple almost kind of reminds you of something that you would smell in like a downy sort of fabric sheet it's very fresh and it feels very very clean warm too even once it settles down it opens up into this glorious peach and peach is one of my favorite notes especially in women's fragrance i just feel like it comes across very seductive and you know low-key ready to seduce and destroy it also feels quite glamorous and edible and sweet and candy like which is why i love it in a fragrance and i really adore it because it comes across as one of those notes that just feels so damn glamorous you know like it just makes you feel like all dressed up and done and the dry down is all musk slight resinous woods and patchouli so this is not like a super patchouli heavy scent don't get it twisted it's more musky i would say even like a white musk even though it says it's a musk scent i would say it feels like a white musk so this fragrance is marketed towards women but you know is there really a gender in fragrance anyone can wear it longevity i would say it's standard longevity maybe five hours five hours plus let's talk about sillage powerful sillage here people will smell this around you it's a compliment getting scent for sure i receive so many compliments when i wear it it's really a divine scent and i feel like is a stunner of a fragrance where people will notice it around you and you know it just feels like a pretty girl scent like pretty girls like a pretty girl must have this in her collection you know she must wear this and show off like that's what it feels like it's very versace-esque you know iconic just like the brand 
I think if you were looking for something similar that smells like it, similar, we're talking about in the same vein. We're not talking about it smells exactly like it. There's no dupes. But the same type of vibe, I would say something along the lines of J'adore by Dior or possibly even DKNY Apple, the green apple fragrance. <laughs> Yeah, these kind of give you like the same vibe and have that fruity floralness that you get here in this particular scent. Again, I would say it is definitely a compliment getting scent. When I wear it, I receive compliments, but you know, I think compliments come from confidence. And if you know, you put it on and you know you're that girl and you got your makeup on and you know, even if you don't have your makeup on and you've got an air of confidence around you, people are gonna vibe with that and they're gonna remember your confidence and your fragrance. So yeah, show off when you wear it is the bottom line. Seasons to wear it, I would say all year round to be honest. Like. I feel like this would perform best in the summer and spring. This just feels like very like, let's go on a boat and go somewhere and, you know, show out, have a drink or a nice cocktail. But I can also see this being worn in the fall and in the winter as well, because it's very versatile. I think you'll get a lot of wear out of it. Occasions to wear it. You can wear it in office. You could wear it outside of the office, daytime, nighttime. Just don't spray too much because it's powerful. You know, it does the job. People will smell it around you. So you don't want to kill them. You don't want to hurt them. You just want to wear a little bit. <laughs> So if you have this fragrance in your collection, I would love if you would share your thoughts on this scent down in the comments below. You know, I'm super curious to hear your thoughts. As always, the conversation continues in the Fragrance Society, my private group of fragrance lovers from around the world. If you head on over to the description box right now, I have a link where you could subscribe to my exclusive email list so that you can stay in the know of all things fragrance so you don't miss out and you know what's coming. You know what's coming up next you know the new scents that are coming out you know what's going on in the world of fragrance so check that link out i will leave it in the description love you forever my friends i sincerely hope that you are doing well you're staying healthy thank you for spending time with me today you know i appreciate your love on this channel love you forever don't forget to watch what's up next and i will catch you in the next one